Consider the following snapshot of a system running n concurrent processes. Process i is holding x i instances of a resource r and i is equal to 1 to n. So if, it, if we are having n processes, so p1 is holding x1 resources of this resource r, x1 instances, p2 is holding x2 instances and so on. So pn is holding xn instances of this resource r. Currently all instances of r are occupied. So for all i processes, i has placed a request for an additional yi instances while holding the xi instances it already has. That means each process has now placed a request for additional yi instances of this only, this resource only r. So p1 is now requesting for y1 more uh, uh, instances of r, p2 is requesting for y2 more instances of r and so on. There are exactly two processes p and q such that yp is equal to yq is equal to 0. That means there are processes over here p, uh, process p and process q, they already had xp and xq in instances of r and they are not requiring any more pro, uh, instances of r. That means their yk is 0. So yp is equal to yq is equal to 0. So which one of the following can serve as a necessary condition to guarantee that the system is not approaching a deadlock? So now if we look at this process P, it does not require any more resources. It already has what it requires. So this process P can run and release its resources which are XP. Similarly process PQ already has XQ instances of R it does not require any more instances. So this process Q can also run and releases its XQ resources. So now we are having XP and XQ resources which are additional instances of R in the system. So all these processes P1 to Pn except for P and Q processes, now they can utilize these xp plus xq resources to complete their execution. So out of all these y's which these n processes require, now we are considering that n is not equal to p or q. So out of all these processes p1 and pn, whichever one requires, so for this requirement of y, whichever one requires a minimum of xp plus xq, that particular process can run and then release its own y instances of r and these additional resources which will keep on releasing will can then be utilized by other processes. So if we look at all these conditions then we can see that if xp plus xq is greater than or equal to the minimum yk. So out of all these yk's that we are having, whichever one is the minimum, if that can be satisfied by this xp plus xq, then that particular process can run and then it can keep on releasing its resource which can be further utilized. And so xp plus xq which is greater than minimum of yk, but k of course is not equal to p and q because p and q processes they have already run. So this is the condition which will guarantee that the system does not fall into a deadlock.